bandages and stuff today. They don't have me in a faha. It is like kind of swole up and they want to keep the, they don't want me to lose any fat. So I don't have a a, ba, a faha. Yes, Ginger will have. Yes, Ginger will have a cousin. I'm okay. I'm okay, man. Oh, I'm. I haven't ate all day. You're cute. Thank you. I should hook up my thing. I'm feeling better. Like last night I was crying. Cause I was, I felt so bad last night. Like I talked to y'all on live last night and then my whole body was like, whatever. But I can't really show y'all everything on my body. Ooh, but it's going, it's going pretty good. Stomach's really flat. I have to wear these grandma panties until they put me in my faha. And my butt's going good. I can't find any food. I can't. I can't find any food. I want some Little Debbie's cupcakes. Like some Little Debbie's cupcakes. I want some so bad. Like zebra cakes. You look so pretty. Thank you so much. I want some zebra cakes. Um, I want to get my hair done again. I just got my ponytail in, but I'm so rough. Um, I want some zebra cakes. I do love food. <laughs> um, eat what? Oh, yeah, but I'm ready to come back to the States. I'm really ready to, um, just to come home and start working again in my house. You know, I have my new house in Nashville. Um, so I've been trying to decorate that today. Um, uh, I know you guys wanted to send me a care package. So, yeah, my hair is thick. I know you guys want to send me a care package. So I'm going to do a peel box. When I get back, um, did you really wake up and want snacks? Yes, I wanted snacks. I'm hungry. I got all these, all this stuff on me. Yeah, but I'm healing up. It's been hell healing, though. It has been hell healing. Come on, wake up, old block. Old block. Old block. Get off mama good quality sheets. I have a thread count sheet that I get from, I'll tell you guys, it starts with a W, W, E something. I get it from um, Bed Bath & Beyond. It's like, it's like a great thread count. And it's like really amazing. Yeah, that tape is hard to come off, but they just yanked it off me a minute ago. Oh, but wait till you guys see my new dog, my, um, my dog, Kokiana. Her name's Kohi, well, his name's Kokiana. He's coming from Betty's Yorkies. I'll have him in the house, too. Thanks for the repost. Oh, no, those shoes are great. I really appreciate it. Hi, Surgeon May Curves. I'm sure you want to know how my process Look, I got tape all on my hand, tape all on my body. I've been lipoed all on my back. All type of stuff. The puppy is tired. Leave him alone. I know, but I want him to wake up. Poo poo. Oh, block. Come here. Oh, block. Oh, block. Hey, Pookie, you okay? He is ignoring me, okay? Yeah, he, he doesn't. He, he, he doesn't care what I'm saying. I'd be so amazed with your tattoos. You love my tattoos? Thank you. I love my tattoos because the color. He did a great job. The color has held up for years. I've had these tattoos for years. And the color has, like, held up so good. How am I feeling? I'm feeling good. 
I know y'all been concerned. Everybody's kind of been concerned. I really want to stand up, but I have on grandma panties because they have me in grandma panties right now. Yeah. Your booty big. No, I, I didn't. I didn't get me a big old booty put in. I got a nice booty. I did want to look like an ant. Um, Y'all remember before when I had my butt, my butt was so big and my legs were so little. And, um, yes, Surgeon Makers, we got to talk, girl, because I might want to pull you on the TV show, on my Lifetime TV show. And I'm, I'm about to do some um, extra casting for the Lifetime TV show. So, Surgeon May Curves, let's, let's get on the phone, either tonight or tomorrow. Let's get on the phone because I've been casting people for you guys who don't know, for you guys who might think that I just sit around and fight with people all day. Um, he's waking up. Hi, Mookie Maki. Um, yeah, I do have a TV show, and it's to help women to, you know, correct their bodies once they've gone through, like, silicone and, like, things like that. Um, I don't need a nurse anymore. Thank you. I'm kind of healed up, you know? So, um, yes, yeah, Surgeon May Curry, we should talk. We should talk about some stuff. Um, first, cast me. So, what I think I'm going to do for my show... They've been casting um, Lifetime and all the showrunners and everything for my show have been casting people. But I haven't went through my DMs. I haven't went through any DMs because I've been out of it. You see, as you can see, I'm out of it. I've been out of it. So, um, now I think tomorrow, today was kind of like getting my house together. Tomorrow, because I'm on bed rest until next well to a couple more weeks so tomorrow i'm probably gonna go through all the you know all the stuff and see who needs some help so how are you guys doing today mm -hmm. bikini time Oh, yeah. Yes, I'm doing good. I want to get all these stickers off me. I want to get my hair dyed. I want to... Mm, no more wigs, though. I don't want to wear any, any wigs. I, I probably will wear some wigs, but I really don't want to. Do you still talk to Sabrina? Why wouldn't I talk to Sabrina? That's my best friend. Um... Yo, when you step out for the first time, <laughs> I'm okay. I'm not even worried about stepping out for the first time. I'm worried about living. I'm worried about being healthy, you know? Am I going to cut my hair again? Uh, I don't know. I might. I go through moods. Sometimes I'll be like, oh, I'm going to cut my hair today. And some days I'm like, I'm not. So, bring the red hair back. No one wants me to bring the red hair back. I misbehave with the red hair. Doggy, can you please wake up and play with me? Because I can't, I can't walk. Can you please? Hey. Oh, block. Oh, blood. Come on, mama. Come here, mom. Come on, baby. Yeah, what you saying? Come on. Oh, he's sleepy. Y'all, he is sleepy. Look at him. Look. Oh, blood. Oh, blood. Come on, boo boo. Wake up. Come on. Oh, you, you, you gonna, you, okay, okay. 
You gonna roll over on me like that? Okay, okay. Y'all see how he already started treating me? He just got here an hour ago. You see how he treat me? He like, leave me alone. You see how he treat me? Wait till your brother come. We'll see who like me the best. Mm -mm, I just got him a couple hours, so everybody's gone to get him all type of toys. I'm going to order him all type of Fendi clothes. Um, all type of stuff. He's about to get hooked up. He tired. He said, leave him. Alone. Look, but I was, I've been so scared because he's been so quiet. Like, oh, block. Come on. Oh, block OTF 300. Come on. Man. Mm -mm. Dogs are better than humans. Dogs are, yeah. You look different. Here we go with the bullshit. I didn't look the same way for years now. They just love to say shit to me. I have to be better at not letting people irritate my spirit. And I think maybe that should be the topic tonight. Um, you look really pretty. Y'all keep telling me like pretty every day. Thank you. That is so appreciated because I don't have on no makeup, no, no eyelashes, girl. Girl, I don't got no eyelashes on. Um... I have to stop letting things upset my spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, I get, not even upset my spirit, I get aggravated. Like, I, I, I didn't know people could be so dumb. Yeah. I, I'd be like, like, what school did you go to? Like, like, how, like, who raised you? You know? But I'm so ready to see my mom and my dad and my son. And I'm ready. They don't even, like, they don't have baked chicken here. Like, real, like, real baked chicken. I want some macaroni and cheese. I even think I've never made dressing. I think this year I'm going to make dressing. I might, on my, um, when I start my OnlyFans, I might cook on there. I'm probably going to get prima donna. Um book and see or call her and see if she can show me how to make the best dressing but i want to put like a thc in my dressing we need a park everybody say y'all need a park y'all want a podcast y'all want a podcast i'm sure i won't because i've been getting in trouble on clubhouse you was reading clubhouse last <laughs> I be getting in trouble on Clubhouse, so y'all want a podcast? Oh yeah, I can release my unreleased music on um, OnlyFans. So when I'm doing my country album, I can release some R&B songs quietly for you guys on OnlyFans too. Why you always put THC and everything? Because I'm a grown ass woman. I'm a boss. Thanks. Because Sabrina would curse people out for me. I didn't want anybody. Sometimes when you get to this level in the game, in the industry, you can't curse everybody out. Sometimes people that truly love you have to step in. My little sister steps in sometimes. A lot of people. But when it comes to having a true friend, um, Sabrina, 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 it's Sabrina, hey, my baby April, Sabrina is a woman of God, she's a mother, a great mother. A great business person. You guys think I do great with business? A lot of the things that I learn in business and a lot of the things that I kind of, you know, take from business and stuff, um, 
I learn a lot from my friends around me. You know what I'm saying? I learn a lot from my friends. And my friend Sabrina is very, um, thank you, thank you. My friend Sabrina is very um, goal oriented and she's very level. So a couple of months ago, if you guys don't know Sabrina, her um, page is The Glam University. So a couple of years ago, not a couple of years ago, I'm crazy. Like a couple months ago, I was going through some really mental issues, like real like strong mental issues. Yeah, and to prima donna. Yeah, I'm finna go rack up on prima donna. I don't want nothing free from pre pre prima donna doing her thing. I'm finna go buy all prima donna stuff. As black women, we need to start supporting each other. Buying each other's products, not always getting it for free. Sometimes we just need to buy it, you know? But like uh, a couple weeks ago, um, I was going through a lot with that stuff that was kind of going on today. And then my grandmama was sick. And then um, I just had some other people saying stuff about me that I, it was just a lot. And Sabrina told me every night at three o'clock in the morning, drop to your knees. And I said, drop to my knees and do what? Because, you know, I don't drop to my knees. I don't even really give head. So she said, every, um, I love you so much too. Oh, hold on. Y'all know I got to turn because of my surgery. I can't really, I can't sit. Okay. Oh, hold on. I'm coming back. Hold on. So, Sabrina told me to drop to my knees at 3 o'clock in the morning, every night, and pray. I started praying. Even if I'm in the bed and don't get out the bed and drop to my knees to pray, I wake up at 3 o'clock in the morning between 3 and 6 and I pray to God. And I pray to God for healing. I pray to God for strength. I pray to God for just like sanity. And that type of prayer has really pulled me through. And that is what a friend is supposed to do. Yes, 3 a.m. So maybe if I wake up at 3 a.m. or if it's 4 or whatever, maybe I'll get on here and pray one day, you know, with you guys but yeah sabrina know like what i've been going through sabrina knows how i've been harassed for years about something that isn't true like when i first got into the business y'all wanted to call me a liar about my abuse that was one thing y'all said i never got beat up i clearly did then y'all wanted to apologize to me. And then y'all felt like because you apologized that that was going to heal the wound that you had already created from calling me a liar. Just because you decided to believe me doesn't mean that that wound was healed right so i went through that for years years and years then i came into the business i really didn't have anybody in the business um i didn't come in like a lot of women like i didn't come in with my sister i didn't come in with men you know like in a crew you know what i'm saying i didn't come in with dating a man or none of that I didn't come in like that. I came in 10 toes down as a woman, as a black woman, 10 toes down, strong, you know? And I always faced so much pushback. Oh, the stories would read, she's crazy. She's this, 
she's that and blah 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 and every time i would try to defend myself not saying that i was always perfect but if you think about it i never start nothing first i always end it so after being in the industry and having to defend myself so much men would always come for me and they would think it was okay and it would be my own black men don't cry it's all good it would be my own black men that would attack and they would attack for reasons such as i might make more money than them or they would attack because i didn't want them or they would attack because I had nobody that they had to answer to. They didn't think little old me could get the bussing. Or they didn't think little old me, you know what I'm saying, could handle anything. So for so long, I've allowed men and some black women, you know what I'm saying, to run this media smear campaign about who I am when my fans and people around me know me and know how I am and the things that I do for people and how I move around and how I act. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, they didn't think anybody would get a record deal from Love and Hip Hop um, or anything. And people like to say, oh, bully. Yeah, I have a very smart mouth. A very, very, very smart mouth. But do I ever use it first? No, I use it to end it. And I'm always shut it down. So being at this point in my career... I have endorsements, I have deals. I have people looking up to me, people all around me. It's only made me be tough. I think I think this whole um, time, I think I've been in the industry probably about six, seven years, and I probably had one breakdown, public breakdown. Um, probably some months ago. You know what I'm saying? Because one thing about a woman, we gonna get it done, even if it hurt. So, you have to watch the things that you do. So for me, I started to look at the greats, the great business people. And I started to really pay attention, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, being the first African-American ever endorsed by Jack Jays. I have my own drink in 14,000 stores. You know what I'm saying? I have businesses. I have a big, huge business about to launch. I don't have to worry about how I eat. I take care of my family. I got four number one albums on Billboard. You know, all of that and all of that just from God and just for being steady and being strong. You know what I'm saying? Yes, 14,000. Mm -hmm. And um, I had to look at business people and start to handle things the business way. And the business way is I'll see you in court. You can't defend every rumor. You can't defend every lie. You can't, you can't, you can't do that. Because I would be defend, oh, and a restaurant, right. Because I would be defending all day long. But sometimes you have to show people your power and you have to show people what your pockets can do. And why you make the money, you make the money, why you make it. You can't, no, don't fight every battle now, Sash. 
you have to fight some ba battles. I've de I've decided what ba battles I'm going to fight in 2021. And it's not going to be about a battle online. I'll say a little stuff online. But my biggest concern is healing some women. Changing some people's lives. Changing my life. Making some... Come on, old block. Wake up. You know what I'm saying? Yes, some battles. Some battles are worth fighting but some are not um right now i turned in today a list of six songs for a music ep for rb ep that you guys are going to curse me out about if you don't get before the country album so i've turned that in um i really wish i had a headscarf or I could even see one, you know. How do you come up with his name? Oh, my dog's name? I'm like, if anybody knows me, like, my fans know. Like, I'm like a huge, like, King Von fan. Like, huge. So, that's why. Um, but, um, I got you guys your EP ready to go. Um, I'm working on the country one. I feel like I talk about this every day. It feels so weird not to have fingernails and not to have any eyelashes on. It feels so weird, right? I let y'all see the dogs. He won't wake up. He living? Oh, block. Come on, baby. Come on, let's play. Oh, black. Oh, black. Mm -hmm. There you go. There you go. Hey, monkey, monkey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come say hey. He rolled his eyes at me. He went right back to sleep. <laughs> That baby is sleepy. Oh, I want him to wake up though. So I'm okay. So everybody's out trying to find me food. Um, I'm not in pain right now. I usually get in pain at night around 9 or 10 o'clock. So, but I'm so ready to get home. Wait, when is the EP coming? February. <laughs> I'm okay, I'm okay, I'm okay. I'm doing okay. 